Now, just imagine if this actually happened. What is going on, Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai G3 Mods, introducing Migateno Gokui Ultra Instinct Vegeta vs. Jiren. Now, a lot of us are actually wondering, and within the community, people have been saying that perhaps, maybe, Vegeta has what it takes to achieve Ultra Instinct, and right now, we're going to find out firsthand as to what would be the case if Ultra Instinct Vegeta battled against Jiren. So, without wasting any more time, let us go on ahead and begin. Yo, this game, if anything, has the best selection for mods that you can ever find. Because, I mean, look at this, man. Ultra Instinct Goku, Ultra Instinct Vegeta, Vegito, Gogeta, Black, Broly. I mean, you name it, they have it. So, what I want to go on ahead and do here is I want to showcase the following. So, I want, I want to go on ahead and do Super Saiyan 2 Kefla and Ultra Instinct Vegeta. And perhaps maybe a few other characters as well. So, maybe add in Toa from Super Dragon Ball Heroes in which, I mean... Look at those Dragon Balls on her chest, bro. Do you really blame her for this matter? So, we're gonna add in Toa just to see how she fares up. Uh, two more characters to add on the roster. So, I featured various legendaries before, but I think I'm gonna do something different here. Um, I actually might go on ahead and feature a uh, golden Super Saiyan 4 Broly just to see how he can stack up. And the final character that I want to put on the roster right now is going to be none other than probably... Let me go with uh, Timebreaker Omega. I mean, just because I'm really hoping that his moveset is different, but Migate no Gokui Vegeta versus Jiren, that's going to be opponent number one. Opponent number two is probably going to be Karoli. Now, obviously, the fusion of Broly and Son Goku. Uh, we're also going to throw in another legendary Super Saiyan 4, a golden Super Saiyan 4 for that matter. So maybe add in Goku, so Goku, golden Super Saiyan 4. Uh, two more characters to add on the roster again if you guys are new to this channel I highly encourage you guys to punch that subscribe button everybody enable all notifications by clicking that bell icon And if you guys want to watch more mods, I will leave a playlist down below for you guys to go on ahead and watch more mods um, I think the final person I'm thinking about adding Topo just because I feel like Topo is suitable for this so you know what, we're gonna throw in Topo. So there's the lineup there for you guys. Um, and again, we have so many different mod videos on the channel. My best recommendation is if you guys wanna see something different, uh, go back and check out some of the previous videos that I've done before, uh, showcasing different variations of mods and whatnot. You guys are definitely gonna enjoy that. So, I mean, and with that being said, Dragon Ball Fighters dropping this year. I mean, so many things happening, dude. Look at Vegeta and Jiren. Oh, it's going down right now. All right, so. Can Vegeta, oh my god, oh, oh, whoa, damn, 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 hold on, hold on, we're gonna have to best up Jiren right now, damn, okay, so, I, I wanna ask you guys a general question, if Vegeta were to fight Jiren while under Ultra Instinct, who do you guys believe would win, between Jiren and Vegeta, hashtag UI Vegeta, or hashtag UI uh, Goku perhaps, cause some of you guys may actually even say that, oh yeah, Goku still stomps, but, if you guys feel like Vegeta would do better, uh, let me know down below if you guys feel opposite. If you guys feel like, you know, one would definitely trump the other, let me know down below. Oh, damn. Look at Vegeta right now, bro. Oh, it's done. Okay, so Jiren took a lot out of me. In case you guys don't know, uh, Jiren is very, very strong, dude. This dude is just very, very OP. But it also looks like Vegeta is actually pretty OP as well. Um, something tells me that obviously... Jiren is still hiding more of his power. Look at Vegeta right now, dude. Vegeta just decimated this man. No question about it. If you guys want to see more of Tenkaichi 3 mods, um, please let me know in the comment section because, again, the more support we can get for this, the better it is. Um, and also, guys, I, I do want to give a uh, call to action. Please follow me at Twitter because some of you guys aren't really notified as to whenever I post a video on here. So, that may be a detriment to many of you guys who are looking forward to stuff like this. So if you guys are not following me at Twitter, follow me at Twitter at Unreal and Gaming, and you guys will be notified whenever I post a brand new video on the channel. What the hell was that, dude? Yo, I don't know what kind of an attack that was, but that shit was godly, dude. It looked like, it legit looked like a final flash, but like it's an ultra final flash. What even is this, dude? What the heck is happening? Alright, so Jiren, uh, oh my god. Okay, so now he's going to unleash his attack. Oh, shit! Talk about back-to-back -back action, man. This has to be one of the best. Um, but also, guys, what I really want to know is, have you guys been getting notified of my videos lately? If you guys have, let me know. If you guys have not, uh, let me know that you guys have not been notified. 
because this system the YouTube system is so busted so the best way for you guys to get my content is to hit that bell uh, and enable all notifications and of course follow me at Twitter I can't keep stressing that enough because when you follow me at Twitter um, I'll be posting various different updates as to when I'm posting or whatever yo this is difficult right now oh shit he caught me alright so if I can escape this and if I can land that ultra final flash it's over alright hold on Jiren hold on Jiren this is it this is it if I can land this one final flash attack it's over uh, did it work? Yes, it did. Alright, so this should be the end of Jiren. There we go, finally. Ultra Instinct Vegeta beat Jiren. Alright, game set match. Here comes Karoli. Now, Karoli isn't a bad idea, right? I mean, the fusion of Broly and, and Son Goku. First of all, only in Dragon Ball Fusions will you be able to find some shit like this. And when this was first introduced, I was super hyped about it. Because I, I remember I did uh, Dragon Ball Fusions content a while ago. And I was thinking about going back to that this year, uh, but what I really want to know is what you guys want to see in particular, because I mean, everyone has like their different flavor as to what they prefer. Uh, some of you guys want discussions, some of you guys want, you know, gameplay. I mean, it all really varies. Oh my god, the co oh my, did you see how close I came to eating that fucking shit, dude? It's over, Clown Broly. All right, so let me see if this is gonna do any damage. Uh, okay, so that did damage, but I'm gonna swap out with Kefra. Kefra. Oh, here we go. Yes, yes. Okay, so I, I, for the most part, I will never understand as to why the community hated Kefla so much. I liked her just because she's a fusion. I mean, her power is bound to grow leaps and bounds. Look at Vegito. Look at any other fusion character. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, the only problem was... People were just mad because she's a female. Like, you get what I'm saying? Uh, she had a pretty unique demeanor. She was cocky, and it, rem it actually reminded me so much of, like, early Vegito from Dragon Ball Z when he was toying around and stuff. I mean, you guys can't deny, like, I mean, she had such a uniqueness to her as a fighter because it looked like she didn't really give a, you know, a flying F. So, it's more or less along the lines of, okay, well, you know, how far along the lines can she go if she furthered her power? For example, what if she did become a Super Saiyan 3? Like, like you get what I'm saying? But I, I think I made a grave miscalculation here because Karoli's attacks, I don't know if you guys can notice, Karoli's attacks are like godly. They're doing more damage to me than how I'm doing to him. What in the hell is going on here, dude? The power of Broly and Goku cannot be greater than Kalifla and Kale's power. Hell no, dude. Oh my god, the Kame Eraser, get out of the way. If that, I'm telling you all right now, if that attack hits all of my members on the roster, I mean, we, we, we can all kiss our victory goodbye then. Oh, uh, here we go. What am I going to unleash? What am I going to unleash? What is this? What is this? Is it a rush attack, perhaps? Hopefully it's not. Oh, he dodged me. You slut monkey. Oh, my God. Okay, so so as long as... What the heck was that? Oh, that, that, that was actually a, paral uh, a paralysis attack. All right, so stay right there. Stay right there. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Let's see. Can I land this signature attack and destroying him? But I mean, I mean, just going forward in the year, guys. What the yo? He keeps blocking, dude. Going forward in the year, though, there is so much to look forward to. I actually have a few promises for you guys uh, for this summer. So even though it just seems a ways away. Uh, all I have to say is, uh, once June, July, and August come around, I'm planning on doing some really fun stuff. Um, but this is where you guys come in. I really want to know as to what you guys want to see on this channel. Uh, that, that, that goes into connection to some of the mods. If you guys want to see specific mod fights, if you guys want to see team battles, all I have to say to that is just let me know. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to do that for you guys. Damn, dude. And uh, also, if you guys don't know about my second and third channels, check those out, guys. Unreal Network and Unreal Vlogs. Especially Unreal Vlogs, because I'm going to do some crazy shit on there very soon. Alright, so, Toa. Can Toa do anything here? Come on, man. Come on, Toa. Come on. What, what does she have? The final spirit cannon. I have no idea what... Okay, hold on, hold on. So, so Broly, yeah, she's, she's copying uh, Gogeta here. So this should be it. I mean, there, there, there's, there should be no reason for uh, <laughs> for Karoli to even stand back up. So who's my next target? Oh, Topo. Hold on. All right. So since Topo, ouch. Uh, oh, I forgot. Topo has like some crazy ass, uh, you know, he, he his Justice Flash is pretty strong in this game. All right. So uh, Justice Fresh. 
Can I injure the fat Eggman? Let's find out here. There we go. Toa, I mean, what's interesting about Toa is I'm really hoping that one day along the lines we get to see her be introduced in Super. Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed some shit right now, yo. Toa's attacks? Toa's attacks are pretty godly. Like, like yo, they're godly, dude. Hold on. Toa's attacks are actually fucking useful. Final revenge. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. Let me swap out here. Who am I gonna swap out with? I ha oh my god. Look at the size of this dude, bro. Look at the size of Broly. What even is this? The Golden Fury? Oh, hell no. Topo would get massacred, dude. Look at this. I mean, it's arguable that that uh, Broly would be bigger. I mean, in terms of, like, mass, yeah. But in terms of, like, you know, height, I don't know. Because Topo's, Topo's pretty tall. Oh my... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you guys notice something? My, my, my health keeps recovering. Wait a minute. So that must mean that the Super Saiyan 4 characters are probably broken. And the reason why I'm saying that is because not only are my attacks doing heavy damage, but also to the fact that I I'm recovering very quick as well. Look at this, dude. Oh, yo, Topo's finished. You can, you can, oh, you can suck these nuts. Yo, damn. And look how quickly I just recovered too, man. Who's next? Oh, yes. Golden Goku versus Golden Broly. Come here, Kakarot. I'm gonna turn you into soup. All right. Um. Okay. So I, I, as I just said, these attacks aren't doing much to the other to the other golden characters. Omega Blast V2. You have to stay down, man. He has to fucking stay down. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Broly countered. All right. So I, I, I'm gonna swap out with uh, Time Breaker Omega just because I want to see what this is all about. Let me see. Can I? Can I connect? Okay. So. The, oh damn. Okay. Omega. Omega is going to be a problem because he doesn't look like. He doesn't look like he's going to be a, a worthy per a character to play as anyway. So, typical Omega moves, stabs him with the spikes. Dragon Thunder. All right, so yeah, th this this is this is basically it. This is basically it, laddies. Let me see here. Omega versus, I mean, Omega versus Super Saiyan 4 Golden Goku. It's like, what kind of a difference would that even be? Because I it, like, regardless, it's still gonna be you know Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? Come on, Omega. There we go. Now, imagine if Omega debuted in Super. Like, where would he stack up? Like, like where would he rank if you guys had to compare? Oh, shit. The Kamehameha. Oh, wait. oh, damn. Hold on, hold on. Omega's pretty durable. All right, so o Omega's pretty durable. Hopefully enough, I can actually increase my strength. Uh, oh, sweet baby Jesus. I, 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 yo, I, this is why I love this game so much. You counter when you least expect it. So, they, all right, so one thing I, I definitely learned right now is that Time Breaker Omega is just basically Omega. There's no difference. All right, here we go. Ultra Instinct of Vegeta. Oh, yes, here we go. Kakarot. Imagine this. Super Saiyan 4 versus Ultra Instinct. How crazy would that fucking be? Oh, hell no. You're not getting the best of me, Golden Kakarot. It's time for you to understand why they call me the Prince. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I really, I'm really starting to enjoy UI Vegeta. Because UI Vegeta, he looks like he plays so well. And he does play so well. And I haven't really tested out any other character yet, so... But damn, Vegeta, look at those combos. Look at those combos. I'm hitting him with, with such precision, he can't even fathom as to what's happening to him right now. But, I'm going to make sure to end this shit right now. Because the next character, I do believe, is the last... So, with that being said, I want to make sure that this- Whoa! What? Did y'all just see that shit, yo? Hold on. The defining Kamehameha. I see, I, I don't know what that was. I don't know what the hell he was attempting to do. But let me tell you guys something. That was some BS. Because that, that attack should have finished him off, but instead, he survived. So, let me see. Oh, damn it, damn it. Fake Kakarot. No, Kakarot. Fuck. All right, hold on, hold on. I mean, we still have- We still have bro- Oh, the after image strike. We still have Broly, we still have everybody, like, uh, under our, oh, there we go, there we go, Vegeta, kicked him right in the dick. That's all we needed to do, was kick him right in the nuts. Take notes, folks, that's how you beat characters, is you knee him in the nuts. Alright, so this is Skinny Boo, I mean, you know what's crazy, is the fact that Skinny Boo in the tournament would have been so fun to watch, because imagine seeing Skinny Boo versus Maji Kaio, imagine seeing Skinny Boo versus... Topo or Dispo, like this would have been like Skinny Boo would have been such a great addition onto the Xenoverse, well the Xenoverse, onto the uh, not, not just the Xenoverse family but the Super family as well. 
the Tournament of Power family. Alright, Boo, you will die now. The Ultra Instinct Godly uh, Final Flash. Let's see if I can crush him. Uh, that did one... Okay, so that did one and a half bars of damage, which, again, isn't that bad. But I, I, I think Boo's going to defeat us because we, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of like on edge right now. Oh, God, there we go. All right, so he beat us. He beat us. F fair game to him. Who's next? Oh, yes. Kefala. Oh, he, uh, Boo's done. Imagine Boo versus Kefla. See, that would have been fun because I, I, I really wanted to see how uh, Kefla would respond to Boo's regeneration. Like, you know, because Boo, Boo is basically immortal, man. Like, he can't freaking die. No matter what you do. I mean, even though Kid Boo died, it's like essentially what he is. He's an entity that, despite no matter how hard you hit him, it's like he keeps coming back. He's such a hacks character. You can't deny that. But Kefla, I, I think Kefla would stomp him out. I, I just think that she would get very, very irritated as to, uh, you know, how she would fight Boo. Hold on, let me see if I can catch up to him. All right, let's see. If I if I can execute this attack to the T, we should be fine. So can we connect? There we go, finally. All right, so Kefla is on the attack. Once again, everybody, I do want to say thank you all so very much for watching. I really did hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to go ahead and slap a big fat like down below and let me know your thoughts, guys. What the heck was that? Whoa. Did y'all see? Did y'all just see like that Namekian looking dude, bro? That was interesting. Let me see here. Uh, oh, yes. We're going to finish things off with the god, Broly. I miss Broly. Like, I actually miss Broly, Broly. Not, not, you know, not, not, not Kale, but Broly. Man, look at this. He is haxed, bro. Okay, so note to self, Super Saiyan 4 Broly in this game is just mega overkill. I mean, I, I, I can only imagine the other Super Saiyan 4s, but I, I didn't really see a problem with the other Super Saiyan 4s. Oh, yes, high impact. Oh, my goodness. He's alive? <laughs> Yo, he's alive, Omega Blaster. It's done. Damn, that was nuts, bro. Thank you all guys for watching so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Two back in for more. And if you guys want to see more, let me know down below. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section, guys. Have a great day. Cue my outro, bitch.